Hey strong siders, today we're starting a new series called the queuing series. A queue is a word or a couple of words the coach can say to quickly express a complex idea within a rep of a set. It happens really, really quickly. These cues will have already been discussed with the client so that they understand what is needed of them in a brief second without having to think too much about it. Today's cue is knees out. What knees out really means is creating torque at the hip. Torque at the hip is actually external rotation. We use this cue a lot during squats and during deadlifts, especially when we have a client where the knees like to collapse inwards. This creating of torque is going to actually take out the laxity in the hip joint. So it's not really even the knees pulling out, but the hips screwing into the hip socket. So the knees rotate outwards. By rotating knees outwards, we take laxity out of the system. Taking laxity out of any joint or any system is going to allow you to generate as much force as possible with your phasic muscles or your prime movers. First thing I'm going to want to do is soften up my knees. I'm not going to want them mocked out for this, and then I'm going to pull them outwards. I'm going to screw my feet in the ground, and what that means is I'm trying to like think about my feet being nailed down to the ground so they can't actually rotate, but I'm going to try to screw them into the ground anyways. This will get the feeling of tension in the hips. So you'll see that my knees pull away from each other, but I'm screwing the tension into my hips. Here you see my knees collapse in. This is what we don't want. When the knees collapse in, there's laxity at the hip joint. You won't be able to generate nearly as much force. Here I'm over torquing to what my ankles can handle. So if I don't have tons of mobility on my ankles, my feet are probably going to flop over. Okay, so I'm going to have a seat. Here's what I'm doing with my feet. I'm trying to spin them outwards like that, but again, they're nailed gun to the ground so they can't actually move, which creates torque at my hips. So to give an idea about this concept, we take our shoulder and we turn the palm up the shoulder. We're going to feel tension build up. If we go the opposite way, you see the shoulder lifts up and it's all loose in the socket. Same idea with the legs. To give you guys a rough idea what this looks like, my right arm is a femur, the fist is the ball of the femur, and here's all the tissues that make up the capsule of the hip joint. When there's laxity, the femur can jump all over the place, laxity, no tension. Here we create external rotation, tons of tension, I can drive as much force as possible because there's no laxity, there's no slack in the system. That's the cue, knees out, use it strong siders, let's make your squat better, safer, and stronger. Have fun. Huh? Woo!